Hey, welcome everybody. It's Bubba Solo here from Bubba Solo Gaming, and today I'm in Africa, the Virhanga Savannah map. Brought along my recurve, and I also brought along a muzzle loader in case there's something I really want to shoot that's way too far away and won't come in. The very first thing that I heard when I arrived here in Virhanga was the call of the lesser kudu. And I found a herd of kudu, actually. I've already shot a female from this herd. And I, I snuck up in here, and I've been trying to get this level 4 male to come in, but he doesn't seem like he wants to come anywhere near me. The difficulty with hunting with a bow on the Brahunga Savannah map is that there's not much cover. It's really hard to sneak up on critters, and I don't like crawling for forever to get to them. This is a level two, might be a silver. Let's see. This would be a good one to shoot. And I have never shot this recurve before today. This one, the snake skin uh, cosmetic variant. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. Okay, it was a good shot. I'm learning how to aim this recurve now. I can shoot pretty well out to 30 meters. Beyond that, I haven't figured it out yet. I'd really love for this male to come in, but he's been standing over there for a long time at about 65 to 70 meters. He'll take a few steps in and then he just kind of walks off. And he's gold level, so I'd, I'd really like to get him. I'm not opposed to using the muzzle loader to shoot him. And in fact, if he wanders off anymore, I'm going to do it. Yeah, there's just no cover between here and there, really. It would take me a long time to try to sneak over there. Or most likely, it would see me take off. I'd say the best thing to do right now is to muzzle load him. Yeah, he's out, out to 80 meters. Thereabouts, anyway. Yeah, time for a little muzzle loader shooting. Cover your ears if you don't like big noises, because <laughs> it's always loud. <laughs> I don't think that. The cloud of smoke. Can't tell anything out. There's his body right there. The muzzle loader Rex house. It's great for everything. I think that the, you can shoot from three to eight with it with the level three stuff, though you gotta use a smaller bullet. Oh dang it! <laughs> Cape Buffalo do not like it when you fire in their vicinity, and it's probably going to kill me. That's it. That's it. All right, so I got knocked out. I ran back over here. The Cape Buffalo uh, wrecked me, and there are more that are calling over that way. So I'm a little bit on edge about getting run over by a Cape Buffalo. It's kind of a bummer. Here we go. Silver. Excellent. 73.5 kilograms. Shot him from... About 26 meters away, got the right lung. Excellent, I'm happy with that. Very small set of horns there. So I gotta go over and retrieve this other one. What do I got here there? Springbuck. Springbuck are cute. Female. Three very easy, not really worth our time. And on my way over here to pick up that probably gold kudu, there's been a, a few Cape Buffalo that have been just tearing across this open space. I have no idea what is freaking them out. I don't know why they keep coming this way, but I'm on edge. This is running over. And then you have to respawn back to the lodge. And I'm about 300 meters from the lodge. Not a big deal to run back over here, but I'd rather not get run over by Cape Buffalo. Let's see what this one is. Nice rack. I think I'll mount this one. Left lung. Yeah, right lung. Excellent penetration. Something's about to run me over. Dog on it. <laughs> what are these Cape Buffalo up to? Where are you going? There is something exciting over that way. What? For the Cape Buffalo. They're heading over to some kind of fun over yonder hills. I have no idea what that's all about. Okay, so I skedaddled out of there and I headed over towards this ivory lake. I was following some springbok and then I saw a lion. <laughs> And right there is a male Cape Buffalo. That Cape Buffalo does not respond to that uh, jackrabbit call, by the way. Uh, 
that was for the line that's in the area. But I might as well wander over here and see how this recurve does with Cape Buffalo. Now, since the 700 grain arrows came into the game, you can actually get integrity on Cape Buffalo and Lions. Before the 700 grain arrows came into the game, you could not. The, the biggest thing you could shoot with the recurve would be a level 8 stuff, which would have been the, a moose. And the uh, 540 grain arrows were pretty crappy for that. Just like shoot them and then follow them all day. So anyway, we got 700 grain arrows. I have no idea how they do against level 9 critters, but bows tend to wreck house, generally speaking. And a 700 grain arrow, I would think, would do well. So there's a male Cape Buffalo over here. I would love to shoot it, but where there's one Cape Buffalo, there usually are several. The problem is if you shoot one, the others can come charge you. And the one you shoot, of course, up oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right through here. The one you shoot is probably gonna run me over. I got this tree right next to me so I can duck. All right, let's do this. I don't even know what that was. Probably a female. I, mean, I heard a male over here, but he seemed like he was a little bit away from the water. Where is she going to go? I don't think she's going to run me over. She just died. Wow, that was fast. That was really, really a fast kill with the 700 grain arrow and this recurve. I'm really loving the recurve. Lightweight. Now that I have a feel for how to aim it better, it's really fun save a ton of inventory weight by carrying it. All right, let's see how big this Cape Buffalo is. If I were to eat this thing, I would have food for a year. Bronze, okay. 407.9 kilograms. Big girl, left lung, stomach, intestines, sacrum coccyx. All right, so anyway, just left lung, really. And I heard some more rustling in the bushes nearby. The lion is still in the area. I'm pretty sure this is a Cape Buffalo that's around here. You can't call Cape Buffalo. All you can do is get near them and then hope to also find cover. If you shoot them, you got to be able to kind of hide. Okay, there we go. Some kind of Cape Buffalo in there. Can't really shoot through those trees. The hitboxes in those trees are pretty big, actually. All right. If I get her to stop or at least slow down, I'll just pop her. Oh, nice. Stop right there. It's got to be lungs. At least one. Oh, I think she's done. Yeah, that was it. Wow. Wow. This 700 grain arrows in the recurve are awesome. Awesome. Love it. Best part about the uh, update after Silver Ridge Peaks. I know there were a lot of sort of bad things that happened to the game after Silver Ridge Peaks came out, but I'm loving how the bows are working now. Oh, it's a Gemsbuck, I think. Left lung, right lung. Didn't go far, did it? Three, very easy. And silver. 450 kilograms. All right, now I have hopped over to the fever something or other lodge, and I was walking over towards this area where there were a bunch of gemsbuck, and they were acting really spooky and weird. And I think that's why there's a lion over here. There is a lion over here, female lion. I've never shot a female lion with a bow. I've never shot a male lion with a bow in this game. So now's the time to try it. There's a shelter. Shelter. There's a, a ground blind right off to my left here, but it's it's in a bad spot. The windows are really narrow here, uh, I guess short. And so there isn't a very good window to shoot out of. And also it's kind of up on the hill. It's anyway, it's a bad, bad blind. By the way, I'm using this uh, distressed jackrabbit call thing because even though the other uh, 
predator call is supposed to work for lions. They seem to respond to this one better. There she is. 44 meters away. I should be able to get a good shot on her. They tend to come in pretty well to the calls. The problem is they also see you and charge. And if a lion touches you, you done get it. <laughs> so, I'm like, shoot, I can't shoot her from this far away, but I would miss. I would miss. I got to I got to sneak up here a little bit. Uh, you can see my visibility is not. There it is. It's nothing right there. I'm making a little noise as I move forward. I don't know how far this grass goes. Hopefully it stops. It looks like it's going to thin out and stop right here, and I'll be able to see again. Oh, there she is. I'm in close. Let's say under 20, thereabouts. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That's going to be all she wrote for Bubba Solo. Uh, yeah. Oops. All right, respawn. I, I ran back down here from the lodge. It wasn't too bad. And, and here she is. And I got right lung, liver, left lung. Pretty darn good. 20 meters away. And it's a female, so just a bronze. But a lion with a bow. I love it. I love this recurve. I love the snakeskin one. I don't know why I didn't use the snakeskin before. It's awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please click over here to subscribe and click over here to watch more videos in this playlist. Thanks for coming along. See ya.